The world's largest bull named Chile weighs at 1.25 tons and stands at 6 feet 6 inches tall. <laughs> Believe that? <laughs> that sounds like a lot of bull. Think in the sidebar. <laughs> In Severville, Tennessee, police said that two newlyweds had robbed the chapel after they had got married. I'm just wondering, <laughs> how did that play out? Now, I pronounce you man and wife. Now break yourself, fool! The deputies found the newlyweds inside of the restaurant where they got back the $500, but now they have to post $10,000 bail. Hmm. I might not be super in math, but I think that's pretty bad odds. I'm really wondering how they thought they would get away with this whole mastermind plan. People around that area have a fresh view of what these people look like. But maybe they just thought that it wouldn't be them because they're newlyweds. Newlyweds wouldn't do that. I guess there's a first for everything. And it won't be consummating the marriage tonight there, my friend. <laughs> no. In San Diego, it seems as if another 70-year-old man has striked again and robbing a bank inside of a supermarket. Yes. Remember just a few weeks back that an old man just robbed a bank? 70-year-old man? Hmm. But this time it's inside of a supermarket. The robber didn't display a gun, but he said that he had a gun. This disguise thing is really taking off. Things you do in a recession. Well, I tell you fam, <sighs> I got some business to take care of. Be right back. Don't move! Those links are in the sidebar. In Norwell, Massachusetts, authorities say that a man was beaten down for the slow service in Kentucky Fried Chicken. 31-year-old Jared Gardfangna and 24-year-old Sarah Mon beat down the guy behind the counter for slow service. They was upset about the slow service they were getting. They started yelling out profanities and basically cussing them out about the terrible service that they're getting. But the guy behind the counter asked them to please quiet down with the profanities. And that's when it happened. What? You talking to me? I'm trying to get a two-piece of the biscuit. But since I can't get a two-piece of the biscuit, I'm about to give you a two-piece of the biscuit. <laughs> Stop him! You give me my chicken. Give me my damn chicken. And they were not black. Just saying. The man was treated with cuts on the eye and wrist. Well, I guess that's clear from boom, boom, the knuckle sandwiches that he was getting to the face. And when he was getting stopped, he was trying to shield his face from the stops. Like I said once before, you can't make up these stories. All right, Dad, this is rule number one. Always point the gun away from you when you load it. Make sure that the chamber is unloaded. <laughs> Dad, I'm sorry. You all right? You raggedy mother sucker. You shot me in my god dang hand. I could deal with family just stabbing you in the back. But now this? No charges have been made against the son because they deemed it to be an accident. And no arrests have been made for the home invasions, but the computer has been recovered. In Wisconsin, Bob Bedford had lost 257 pounds in 30 months. He was 500. <laughs> Why is this even news? I know a lot of crackheads who lost that kind of weight much sooner than that. A dozen people that are in town. You got New Street, Kirkwood Street, Queen Street. Just go in your inner city. 
you could lose a lot of weight fast. Crack Rock, the other white meat. Carlos Bach, born native of Guatemala, wants the police to deport him because he doesn't have any money to get back home. Carlos Bach told the authorities that he entered the United States from Guatemala about 13 years ago and he could no longer afford to be here. He tells the police that he stole his ex-roommate's identity of two years and he shows the certificates and documentation that he stole his identity. He told the police that he doesn't have any money to make it back home so he turned himself in so he could be deported. Carlos was in fear that he had no money, no job, and he was and he was afraid that he wouldn't survive the winter. So he turned himself into the police. How do you do that? Hey, senor, I need to be deported. I gotta get myself together. I find this story to be hilarious. The guy. Basically, he's an illegal immigrant. <laughs> Carlos is an illegal immigrant, and he finds work, and he's striving for the American dream. He gets a job, and he's trying to strive to make it. But as soon as it takes a turn for the worse, I guess with the recession, that Carlos doesn't have a job. He has no food. He has no place to stay. So he turns himself into the police. <laughs> Woo! People are crazy. That is one of the most funniest things I have heard in the news in a while. <laughs> mm, you've just watched Chuck Talk TV. I'm out.